What's up, everyone, and welcome back. This is episode nine of the Road to SSL series, the series where I show you how I'd rank up as a top 0.1% Rocket League coach. We're C2 Div 3, so without any further ado, let's jump into the games. Also, if you're new here and don't know me, what's up? My name's Luke. What I'm actually better at is coaching. For those of you who don't know, I run Rocket League's number one live coaching program. It's called the Grand Champ Roadmap, where we take players like you from plat through champ up to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less. At the time I'm recording this, we just crossed 1,700 players, and we just filled up the first 50% of our December launch. So if you want to get involved before we sell out and go on pause until 2023. DM me on Discord with the keyword nine. So I know you came from this video. We can talk details about coaching. Links down below. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Okay, so we're currently sitting, yeah. In twos, we are C2 Div 3. We're going to jump in, see how this one goes. All right, we're jumping into the games. We currently can't see MMR because I don't have Bacchus bot injected, but we're playing against RS and Liddy Biddy. This guy said he's on my left, so I'm actually going to try to push the kickoff that way. And I'm going to pick up side boost. Now I'm going to rotate through mid. Looks like he's going to bounce it up. And I'm just playing back here because it looks like he may get dunked. Here, I see this guy not going. I'm going to force like I'm going. Now I can hit it to the side. This ball's rolling up the wall, so I'm going to get a bit of an air dribble. I'm using my neutral jump there to just stay behind this ball, and I'm not I'm not trying to get too mechanical. I don't, I'm don't. not trying to take it all the way downfield because I feel like that's not fair. But I'm actually going to stick with this ball here just because um, my teammate may get dunked, so I'm going to come across and boom it that way. I'm sticking with that ball just because I thought my teammate should go grab boost, and I thought he might be awkward. Here, I'm going to play it down and slow over to my teammate and maybe get a cut in here. See him challenging... So I'm going to fly up, hit one, and I get a double jump to almost bump the other. And I think that'll lead to a goal. No, he missed. Uh, okay, I'm just going to grab boost. There are two people there. It's not worth playing center. My teammate's low boost. I need to have boost so I can hold down the fort here. Nice. My teammate gets a demo, so I'm going to hit the ball up. Wait, 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 wait. And then put a shot high. The key there, guys, is once I get that first touch... Like, the ball's moving closer to their net. So if they're not going to challenge me, like, sweet. I'll just take a shot from point blank, right? Like, a lot of people get really anxious and they just go for the shot. The more you can wait, you get them flat-footed, you get the ball closer to their net, shot's free. So that's what we're doing there. Here he said on the right, so I'm going to try to push the ball a little bit to the right. You can just kind of watch what I did in the replay to try to push it there. If you ever want to copy that. And we're going to get a free goal. He said he has it, so I'm going to assume he's faking. I'll go back. He, I think he tried to pass, but he couldn't quite get it. So here this guy looks kind of awkward. I wanted to push up. The team's challenging. I'm going to fly here just because my, like, my positioning was just better. So, like, I, I just knew I had him beat. Like, the thing is here, like, once he gets that touch, I know the guy on the wall's recovering. And the guy center, he's looking at the ball. So, like, if you're from his perspective, he's looking at the ball. He sees the corner of the field. He doesn't see me upfield, but I can see him. So that's why I know the challenge is free. He's going to hit it to the right. I'll let him get half boost, and I'm just going to go back and buy time for him. Once again, I'm just going back, buying time here. Keeping the net in front of me as long as I possibly can. And they're just going to push me across. <laughs> across, and I get a demo, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know. Stay in net. Let that bounce across. Play it over here. Try to get a cut. Doesn't quite work. Once again, I'm just going to keep letting him fly. Like He doesn't have a good shot from here. So I just need to get a little touch, and then it's a free goal. Like... Like, when you're attacking from that angle on the backboard, I just know his shot can't be that fast. So as long as I keep the net in front, I'm ready to go. I get a little outplay, and that'll be a two-minute forfeit. Holy. All right. Game one. Let's go. We're with, against Spiral and Halicon playing with Evo G. So the ball's going to come here. I speed flipped. I kind of messed up my speed flip, so I'm just going to go back. Here, I'm just covering the high ball, pre-jumping a bit. Let him bang it into the wall and I can just get a touch out without flipping so I'm always back I think that almost leads to a goal but he gets a nice touch there so here balls coming back to me try to get a soft touch couldn't quite play it how I wanted to so gonna have to play it into the corner looks like he has me beat so I'll just go back here I want to stay behind my teammate oh I think I think he got flat-footed I don't know that's kind of my bad I left him back alone I'll be back right 
So I'm going to make one touch up. I did not mean to hit it that far to the side, but that's all right. We'll just get a flick this way. Look for a demo on the second. My teammate's not there, but that's fine. Here, I'm going to turn on this ball just because I, I have good positioning. I'm closer than him. I know I can get the beat, so why not? Here, I'll fly up. Kind of going for a little bit of an air dribble. Get a beat over one. Not the best beat. Not the best air dribble, but honestly, a very champ one air dribble or champ two air dribble. So that'll lead, lead to a goal. I'm going to calm that I'm losing it back right to my teammate. I don't know. if I, I should probably do that sooner if I'm going to do it. Here, I'll play back post. Just waiting for the ball to come center. Ball comes center. I'm going to get one touch up, and then I can fly for this and maybe get an air dribble. That's honestly not even the best air dribble, but it's going to work. I accidentally got a little too far out in front of the ball. Used a little bit of air roll to adjust and get back. But the actual air dribble isn't that good. I don't feel like that's too mechanical. It wasn't even a good air dribble. Here, I got to watch shot. He's just going to boom it right away. If he would have dribbled, he might have had a better shot at attacking, but he just goes for the shot instantly, which is not the wave. This guy challenges me, and because I hear him coming from the side, I'm just going to go for a quick double jump pop. Get it downfield. As you guys know, you don't need to do anything. You don't even need to flick it. Just double jump pop. It'll beat like any defender at any rank. Like I'm so serious. Here I'll play center. I'm gonna use the net to maintain momentum. You really don't have to do that though. It's just a habit for me at this point. This guy is playing so far back on back post. So normally I wouldn't push up there at all. I kind of just let him clear it. But I noticed this guy is playing ridiculously far back post. And like back post is good, but like if the ball's coming center, you gotta cover that. So I'm gonna push up. I'll cheat here. Ball's gonna come corner. No rush. I'm just gonna grab boost, wait for it to come. Make my soft touches around, and now I got a beat. I'm going to take this ball upfield. Keep keep hitting it up. Recover back. Make sure I'm back on time, and we should be completely fine here. Ball's going to be in the corner for a second, so I have time to get boost. I'm going to keep letting them hit it. No threat. And the, I'm going to challenge there because they are a little bit panicked. They're a little bit low boost. They did a double commit a second ago. And I'm going to look for a for a demo there. It's, it's a little bullying, but... I don't think it's that bullying. I should not be allowed to go for that turn. Okay, if I had my say, I would turn and try to score that ball just because I know they're low boost, but I should not be allowed to air dribble that. It's a really awkward angle. Teammate's going to boom it up. I'm going to fake jump like I'm going, and now I'll take it up for real. I'm just going to get one bop over the over the one, and now I want to grab his boost. Okay, flipped into it. I got it. Now I can get back. This guy's sitting midfield too slow, so I can turn in, look for a demo. And he's got no angle here. Like, if I just stay on the wall, there's no way he's scoring that. Once again, just let, let them do their thing. I'm going to pressure like I'm going. He's pushed up too far so I can flip in. And I'm just going to grab your boost and move through. I did not expect them to miss that hard, actually. But I'll play behind my teammate here in case he gets flicked over. He does. This looks like it's going to bounce middle. So I'm just going to get one high touch. Grab my corner boost. Jump up the wall to avoid demo. And now we get an open. I think I may have missed. No, I thought that was bouncing up. Oh, I could have sworn that was bouncing up. That's my bad. I should have scored that. But I think my teammate will get a goal. Almost. Going to get one touch up. One touch to beat one more. And then a demo on the third. Whenever I notice I don't have a guaranteed beat and I'm getting a bunch of small touches, I'll instantly look for the demo. There, I can cut in, get a beat on one. Here, this angle is awkward, so I'm just going to wait, 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 wait. Make it as awkward as possible, and then we get the center touch. And that's a goal. Game two, another forfeit. Let's go. Game three, Walrus. We're up against Walrus and 420 YOLO swag. Walrus is AFK. I'm going to get one touch up, and then I can maybe bop this off the wall center. Just make it awkward for him. I'm going to take their boost at the very least. Look for a demo on this guy as he moves through. I can take our corner boost, move back up. I'm watching a boom here. 50-50 could go any way. Looks like he still has it. So I'm going to get a nice 50. I can get around this ball and maybe go for a shot. Uh, I place it a little high. Using air roll to get the shot off. End up missing it just a little bit. Here it looks like he has a boom, so I'm going to wait back here on the wall. Nice. He gets a good 50-50, so I can just go for a shot. No way you're saving that. It ends up working. Looks like Walrus is back now. I'll play back at half. Justin might have a shot. 
almost walrus has control here so i'm just gonna shadow play wide this guy's looking for a demo but he's looking for it a little too soon like see he's looking for demos but like this just isn't okay that should not go in my teammate should have cleaned that up oh well, i i should have not got demoed but those that like you can't really look for demos like, like my path isn't very predictable i don't know that shouldn't have worked it's a very aggressive demo to be looking for but it is what it is i'll go around take side boost here can bop it up off the backboard and maybe get a read down on him not the best follow-up i'm just trying to get it on net and teammate gets beat that's what happens when you go for offensive plays like that see that's like an all or nothing play that's my bad i mean i left my teammate back alone probably shouldn't let that get by him but it is what it is we cool Get a decent 50-50. Should be able to get their boost here. Maybe look for demos on my way through. And then turn and see the challenge. It looks like he still has possession. Oh, he hits it away too far. I was actually looking for a demo there as we moved through. Weren't able to get it. So now I'll just play back. Collecting pads as best I can. He hits it up, so I'm going to turn back up. Watch demo here. And get a chal. I'm able to get a challenge on him. He hits it off the wall. So I'm just going to move through and continue to take their boost while we kind of buy time. Teammates get gets beat, but I'm in position to put it back on that. At least make it awkward for him. My teammate needs to get back here. Once he does, then I can posture like I'm in a challenge. Okay. I'll play back then on that note. Is he going to come off wall? Looks like he still has it, so I'm going to turn back. And here I'm going to focus on getting a soft touch. Oh, my bad. I should have played that closer to the corner. Let my teammate know I'm on his right. Maybe he can serve me back here. Not quite. Nice. Teammate gets a beat on that guy. I'm going to make one touch up here, and then I'm going to go for a dribble. He early challenges super hard. Should be fine. I'll move back. Just continue to watch the play. Looks like teammate has. Passes it back to them a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. I can make one touch to the left, one touch to the right, and then get a little beat. Put it a little high, unfortunately, and teammate has pushed up a little far, but it is what it is. Aren't able to get a good setup off the wall there. That's fine. He's pushed up really far on my left side, so I don't mind banging it. And the reason I don't mind banging it is just just because we have a numbers advantage. So I'm going to force it upfield. Normally, as you know, I don't like to boom, but it's okay to boom if you have a massive numbers advantage. Here, I'm just playing the wall, watching the angle. They shouldn't have anything on us as long as they do that. Keep watching the angle. Use the wall to, to get clears and control our corner boost. This guy looks like he might have a boom. And I, I should have just stayed grounded. Could have got back quicker. It's fine. I think we still got a winning chance. I'll cheat up here. Ball's going to come center. And I'll get a nice beat. That'll put us back in. Like, if you're forfeiting off of three goals in diamond, like, what are you doing, dog? You can score three goals in 20 seconds in diamond. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just why. Gonna go for a chow there just because we need to play a little aggressive. And I can use recoveries to get back. This guy should have a clear to the side. I'll watch his touch. It looks like he has one beat. I'll play this to the side. I might be able to get boost and then go for some sort of aerial play. Um think I might be able to take it up for an air dribble. Almost. Looks like teammate's gonna go. And wow, that's actually a great shot from the teammate. Let's go. We can come back. Here I'll cheat up teammate gets a nice beat this guy might panic so i'll wait i had a feeling he'd panic get a hit off the wall it's not going to be enough but we can stay back and kind of stay in the way i don't see him going quick enough so i can just get a beat there and i'm looking for a demo here just trying to be obnoxious he might hit it over to here i can grab his boost and maybe go for a center i'm able to bump him teammate hits it off backboard and i might be able to slot it for a shot <laughs> it actually works Let's go. Don't cheat up. We got tied. See, this is what I'm saying. Why are you guys forfeiting in champ two? Come on now. We're better than that. Here, I'm just looking for demos, moving it through. He's going to hit it here, and I'm actually going to track this ball down. I'm just going to take it back to my corner. You know, reason being is because my teammate was pushed up. Like, we there's no, no need to rush things. And we can play one up here. Might even be able to get an attacking chance. 
Almost. He's going to fly up. I'm going to watch it center. Teammate looks like he's going. Oh, he got beat. So once again, teammate gets beat. Take it to the corner. Reset. Almost get a beat on the one. Teammate is just pre-jumping and panicking. We're fine, bro. Do not panic. And actually, we might have scored there. But Overtime. Let's go. We got we to gotta, we gotta take this one down just for the content. Just to show. Never forfeit. Exhibit A. Come on. Why are you forfeiting, bro? <laughs> and that'll be game three. That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's let's freaking go. All right. So a satisfying ending. That'll definitely make it to a YouTube short. But if you made it to this point, thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you're interested in coaching, make sure to hit me down in the description. It's going to be the first link down below. Or if you just want free stuff when this video goes live, I will have just finished putting together my top five ways to rank up with zero mechanics. I literally did a replay analysis of this series up until this point and identified the top five things I'm actually doing in these games to rank up. So if you want access to that, I'm giving away completely for free as a youtube community post as well as a post over in my discord so just make sure you're subbed and you're in the discord so you get first notified when that goes live other than that thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next video peace guys